Hi guys, I am Manidhi and I am here to explain about image segmentation by morphological watersheds and dam construction. Morphological watersheds is a concept based on visualizing an image in three dimensions. That is visualizing the two spatial coordinates versus intensity in such a topographic interpretation of an image. We consider three types of points. In points belonging to a regional minimum points at which a drop of water if placed at the location of any of these points would fall with certainty to a single minimum and points at which water would be equal, equally likely to fall to more than one such minimum. For a regional minimum, the set of points satisfy the condition at which the drop of water if placed at, at any location of any of those points would fall to a certain single minimum is called catchment basin or watershed of that minimum. The point satisfying condition, the points at which water would be likely to fall down more than one such minimum, form the crest lines of the topograph surface and are termed as divide lines or watershed lines. Here, the IM show command is used to used to display the indexed image X, and in IM show we will give the input as i which is the 2d image and the map function which displays the indexed image x with the color map and i am show of the image name displays the image stored in the graphics file specified by the file name so and here mesh will create a mesh plot which is a three dimensional surface that has solid edge colors and no face colors the function plots the values in matrix z as heights above a grid in the xy plane defined by x and y. The edge colors vary according to the heights specified by z. Now we need to know about the basic definitions in this morphological watersheds. Here image is nothing but a, we will take input as 2d gray level image and dom d is the domain of an image that is whether it is a time domain or frequency domain. And path p of cap length capital L between p and q of p and q of an image and it, a of l plus 1 is nothing but a tuple of pixels that is from p naught from p the, such that up to q such that p i and p i plus 1 are adjacent that is we have three types of adjacencies four adjacent eight eight adjacent and m adjacent here l capital l is the length of a given path and next we need we discuss about minimum a minimum capital M of an image is a connected plateau of pixels from which it is impossible to reach a point of lower altitude without having to climb. The main advantages of this morphological watershed is instead of working on an image itself, this technique is often applied on its gradient image. Here, gradient image is nothing, nothing but it is a directional change in the intensity or color in an image. Now, we have three types of points in these morpholo morphological watersheds. Points belonging to a regional minimum, points belonging to a catchment basin or watershed of a regional minimum, that is the points at which drop of water will certainly fall to a single minimum, and the divide lines or watershed lines points, the points at which a drop of water will, will be equally likely to fall to more than one minimum. The crest line, it is, they are also called crest lines. They are on the topographic surface. This technique is to identify all the third type of points for segmentation. Here in this image, we can see the catchment basins and the watershed ridge, ridge line exactly in the middle of the catch, catchment basins. Now, we move on to dam construction. Dam construction is based on binary images. It is the simplest way to construct dams separating sets of binary points and it is used to it is the best way to implement morphological dilation and dam should be constructed to avoid the spilling of water from one base into other base based on the morphological dilation at each step of the algorithm the binary image is obtained on the following manner step one initially the set of pixels with minimum gray level are 1 and the other set of pixels are 0. In each subsequent step, we flood the 3D topography from below and the pixels covered by raising the water are 1s and the other pixels are zeros. Now, the basic steps involved are piercing holes in each regional minimum of an image. The 3D topography is flooded from below gradually. When the raising water in distant catchment, 
basin is about to merge the dam is built to prevent the merging the dam boundaries correspond to the watershed lines to be extracted by a watershed segmentation algorithm here in this image we can see that the figure 10.4 10.44.a is the result of the further flooding and the next one is beginning of merging of water from two catchment basin so that a short dam is being built between them. later on we need to bring a, build a lo longer dam so that to stop the flow of water now we need to know some about some notations here capital m1 and capital m2 are sets of coordinates of points in the two regional minima and c of M m1 and c of m2 are the sets of coordinates of points in the catchment basins associated with m1 and m2 at this stage n1 n minus 1 of load flooding catchment basins up to the flooding level here c of n minus 1 is nothing but the union of c of n minus 1 of m1 and c n minus 1 of m2 at flooding step n minus 1 there are two connected components at flooding step n there is only one con connected component it this indicates that the water between the two catchment basins has merged at flooding step n we use q to donate this single connected component now we move on to the steps involved in this morphological and dam construction steps repeatedly dilate c n minus 1 of m1 and c n minus 1 of m2 by the 3 by 3 structuring element shown subject to the following condition constraint q the center of the structuring element cannot go beyond q during dilation the dam is constructed by the points on which the dilation would cause the sets being dilated to merge resulting one pixel thick connected path setting the gray level at each point in in the resulted path to a value greater than the maximum gray value of the image that is it is usually maximum value plus one here we construct a dam to prevent catchment basins from merging it is the original image and it is the topographic wave of that image the hollow ones are the catchment basins and the edge ones are the watershed lines so we we punch a hole in each regional minimum for water to fill up the catchment basin and we have three kind of scenarios where a new minimum is found q is incorporated into c of n minus 1 to form c of n and it is one containing one cc cc is nothing but corpus callosum it is a set of new neural fibers in the cerebellar cortex responsible for facilitating interhemisphere communication here q lies in the catchment basin of some regional minimum q is incorporated into c of n minus 1 to form c of n scenario c that is third scenario that where it will be containing more than one one corpus callosum the part of the watershed line is encoded a dam must be built within q to prevent overflow between the catchment basin here the dam is constructed of height maximum of n plus 1 here the water started to merging to to so to stop that a small dam is constructed later the water flow will be increase, increasing so that a longer dam is constructed so let's understand this morphological watershed and dam construction by taking an example we we here implement a step by step implementation of the dam building procedure for the one dimensional gray level cross section here we we take this as g of x step 1 where we will be indicating as n equal to 1 and step 2 where we will be taking as n equal to 2 and step 3 where n is equal to 3 and 4 the flooding will be more and step 5 where the flooding will be increasing gradually so we implement that and we get the resultant dam construction so by taking a matlab example we can say that the first image is the original image then the second image is the direct watershed transform result using the following commands like if we want a watershed transformation we need to apply the command of watershed of the original image and the third image is it shows all of the regional minima by using the command i am i am regional minimum so fourth image is the internal markers obtained by the command i am extended minimum and the fifth image is the external markers obtained by using watershed of bw distant distance 
image and the sixth image is the modified gradient image obtained from the internal and external markers by the command im impose minimum and the final one is the final segmentation result where we will be getting the image by applying the command watershed of g2